white line, King City. A city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering. Evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. Hey kids, Scoop Gibson here. I was supposed to meet Kingdom Crusader out here. He said he had a very special announcement to make. You haven't seen him, have you? I give uh, everything oh. to honor my king. Oh, oh hello, Scoop Gibson. How you doing there, Kingdom Crusader? I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting to hear your big announcement. And I've been waiting to make it. Give All me right. a moment here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Citizens of King City. Citizens, yeah. Members of the press. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Honored guests. <laughs> Friends, Romans, countrymen. Will you get on with it? Yes, sorry. Um, all right. I've called you here to announce that the Philistine has contacted me personally and says that if we agree to forgive him for his past crimes, he will abandon all of his evil plans for world domination. What? Are you telling me that, 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 that the Philistine is no longer a threat to King City? Well, he has promised to behave himself and to try not to use his power to get revenge on King City. Try not to. He's going to try not to be evil. Do you expect my readers to believe that, uh, that uh, an evil bad guy is going to suddenly turn around and be nice? Well, it could happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call for backup. What? Oh, my God. No, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> Run away, little man. Oh, Philistine. Oh, I never get tired of that. You can't keep doing that. I'm trying to convince uh, the citizens of King City that you've changed your ways, and then you go and mess it up by acting that way. Oh, fiddly dee. I'm sure I'm sorry. It's not that easy, you know, when you've spent five years developing a really cool, evil persona oh. to just... Drop it overnight. Well, you promised that you would change your ways. Don't you want the citizens to trust you? Hmm. What's my other choice? Now, Philistine, cut it out. Kidding. Kidding. Oh, gosh. Lighten up. You superhero types are so uptight. Oh, no, we're not. Look, I am trying to change my image. It's just, well... What am I supposed to do with my freeze ray? Oh, that's a good point. It's pretty cool. And my rubber chicken gun. I didn't even know that was a thing. And my laser cat. Oh, laser. You put down those weapons, Philistine, or I'll blast you. Oh, no. Scripture guy. Oh, no. I warned you. No. Yeah. Run away. What? Run away. Oh, well, Philistine. Oh, no. Crusader, you let him get away. Well, I know. Well, I, I didn't want you to fight him. You see, he's... He's trying to change. Change? Change into what? Well, the Philistine's trying to become a better person. Who told you that? Well, he did. Well, I, for one, do not trust him. Well, I don't either, but I do trust God. I beg your pardon? Well, it's just that David trusted God when all of his enemies were against him. Oh, here, I'll, I'll get the good news out and I'll explain. All right. No, oh, no. Oh, come on. Uh, a little help. <sighs> Every time. All right. Thanks, scripture guy. All right, so. Ah, okay, here's a good example. Mm -hmm. There was this one time when King Saul was searching for David. So, oh. David and his mighty men went up into the mountains. Yes, I remember this. Uh, in fact... King Saul was trying to kill David, and so David and all of his men had to sleep in caves. Yes, and Saul came into the cave where David was hiding with his mighty men, but Saul didn't know that they were there. And then David crept up behind uh, Saul and quietly cut off a corner of his robe, and Saul didn't even notice. Well, if the Philistine ever tried to cut my cape, I would give him such a spanking. Well... Well, well, David didn't even touch Saul. He knew that it would be wrong to hurt him because God had anointed King Saul and chosen him to be king. Hmm. So he let him escape. 
Just like you let the Philistine escape. Yes! And then David showed Saul the piece that he had cut from his robe to prove that he had a chance to hurt him, but had chosen not to. Hmm. You know, the Bible does say that we should love our enemies. Yes. But how do we know that the Philistine isn't just working together with the obliterator to trick us? Well, I guess we don't. I guess we just trust his word and have faith. I have faith, but... Shouldn't the Philistine be punished for all the wrong things he's done? Yes, and that's exactly where trusting God comes in handy. Well, well, well look what David said to Saul. Mm -hmm. May the Lord judge between you and me, and may the Lord avenge the wrongs that you have done to me. But my hand will not touch you. I see. So instead of getting revenge, David trusted God to judge King Saul for the wrong things he'd done to David. David trusted God with everything. And I trust God with all my heart. Yes. Do you think that you can trust God to, to, to trust God that he's working on the Philistine's heart? Do you really think he's trying to change? I really do. Then I trust you. Huh. And I'll put my trust in God. Let's go find the Philistine and tell them that we're going to give him another chance. That's the spirit. Let's all say our motto together. We I give everything, everything to honor our king. king. Away we go. To the Philistine. To the Philistine.